How are you? Hey, how are you? How are you? This is Trey from Shadow and Act. Hi, Trey. Hi, so it's so great to talk to you both. I hope you're doing well. And safe. so excited to talk about Bridgerton. Like, I cannot wait until everyone sees this. You know, I think I may have screened all the episodes within one sitting. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, Yay. Like, I, just, I was like, I just can't stop. I can't stop. Um, so my first question is around the, the idea that Bridgerton is such a different type of period drama and the fact that, you know, you know, the main plot is that we're in the middle of social season and like, you know, the women are trying to find a husband, but they have so much agency in what they want to do and who they want to do and things like that. <laughs> so, um, Claudia, if you could answer first and then Nicola, did you learn anything about yourself in this process of portraying these characters? Yeah, I definitely want to be, I'd love to be as sort of confident as <laughs> Louise. Like she, and I certainly wasn't at the age of 17, like no way, no way. Like that's amazing. I think, yeah, Eloise is not really frightened of like filling a space and like, mm -hmm. uh, she's not really apologetic about like uh, her presence, which um, I would like to take away. That's what I think I'd like to take away, her like freedom and confidence to fill a space. I'd like that, yeah. I think with Penelope, like sometimes I would think about the things she would do and I think it, she has sort of such a different background to me, obviously, but also with her family that she feels like such an outsider. And then she's so isolated at the balls that no one speaks to her and just like how terrible loneliness is and how lucky I am to have the friends I have. Because mm -hmm. filming those scenes in a funny way, you do feel quite lonely because, you know, I'd have to stand on my own for <laughs> long periods of time and that's quite hard. But also like the true value of, of friendships as well. And ha having those scenes with Claudia was so special and I'm lucky to have such special friends too. So kind of reflecting on the gratitude that that was another kind of big part of it for me. Yeah. What do you think will surprise people the most uh, about the series? Like I was surprised kind of like how contemporary Mm -hmm. It yeah. was, you know, it's it's a period drama, but it's also it feels like you know if they didn't, if you all didn't have on all the period exactly. clothes, I'm like, this could be a story. That's, that's right. Story, you know, so um, what do you think people would be surprised the most, Nicola? If you could go first, and then Claudia. Well, I think this show it's a period drama, but it doesn't feel like a period drama that people have seen before because mm -hmm. the books that Bridgerton is based on are only twenty years old. So it's yeah. not like we've adapted something like Pride and Prejudice, where there's a set amount of expectations or things that you have to do. It's almost like there was the freedom to throw the rule book out a little bit and, you yeah. know, to create a show that felt fresh and new and different and to have really snappy dialogue that existed in Grey's Anatomy and Scandal and take the, <laughs> taking the things that people love from those shows, like the drama, like the complex female characters, all of these things and, you know, creating a show that's diverse too, which is so important and it enriches the show so much. And it's also like we're making a fantasy here. So we're creating a London that could have existed and it just yeah it feels so different you people are not going to know what to expect when they sit down on Christmas day and watch this I think but I think they'll be very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah. I think people will be uh, most surprised by the pace uh, of it um, the, yeah because obviously so many period pieces are slow and quite drawn out and that's what we've been used to and that's what we expect from it um, but like you said, Trey, it's like, it just so happens to have the most sexy backdrop, like the most beautiful like way of it's traveling like to a party. Scandal, but Downton Abbey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. So yeah, I think they'll be most surprised at the pace, but like most like happily surprised at the pace because it's refreshing, isn't it? It's like, it looks beautiful, but it feels contemporary, lovely. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you both for chatting with me today. I You're hope lovely. you continue to have a great rest of your day and thanks so much.